Israel is a country where of about six million people, and we had about four thousand uh, in average cases reported. And we even thought uh, some studies showed that for each reported case, you have between four and eight unreported cases. So it was real big disease. And so when we started, we decided to start it only in uh, young toddlers. So 18 months and 24 months, we did not do any uh, catch-up program to any other age groups because we believe that this age group is the one that transmits the virus to others. And within three years from the start of the program, which is covering about 90% of the children for one dose and about 80% for two doses, we got down overall in all ages in Israel uh, o over 95% reduction. And so when we, from uh, about the year of 2002, 2003, until now, we have no more than about 100 to 150 cases a year compared to thousands of cases before. I understand that uh, there is a debate now in Argentina because uh, they believe that some of the surveillance was not implemented. So they may want to do it, what I call the short and easy way, just to give the second dose. But I believe that if you do the first step, you continue, and they have to continue with one dose and document what happens. They will need to have long-term follow-up of antibodies. But this means you need a plan. Now there is a money for this plan because if you save one dose, you have a lot of money to invest in the, in the uh, surveillance plan. So getting a second dose is not cheaper than doing surveillance. It's actually more expensive. So I, I believe that uh, what is needed is a leader that decides to actually put the program on place and use maybe part of the money of the second dose to, to this issue. But uh, I, I don't know, I understand that there is a lot of discussion and maybe Argentina is going to move to two doses. So then we will lose the opportunity to learn.